If you're a beginner to Godot and GDScript, then this should be helpful. Today we're learning about comments and why you want to use them. What's up everybody, welcome to MyPixel. As always, it's awesome to have you here. We're continuing on with the GDScript tutorial series and learning about comments. Comments are lines of code that are excluded from processing by the game engine. Some of you might be asking, so then why do we need comments if they're just useless lines of text in our code? Well, let's start off with reason number one. You're able to use comments to leave notes in your code for either your future self or anyone else that might look at your code in the future. If you're new to scripting or programming, then just trust me when I say that even you will probably have a hard time understanding your own code if you're not working on it frequently. We can use comments to leave little notes to give you a reminder in the event that you forget what a particular line or block of code is for. So how do we make a comment? One way is to use a pound or hash symbol. Now any text that follows this symbol will be ignored. So we can do a couple of comments like this. So we can put a comment on its own line, like this, or at the end of a line of code, like this. All the code before the hash symbol will still work. If you want to do a comment that spans multiple lines, you have to put the hash symbol at the beginning of each line, like this. There is one other way to do multi-line comments, which I don't recommend, but I'll show it to you anyway. I'll explain why I don't recommend it afterward. For this method, you will use three double quotes at the start and end of the multi-line comment. While this does work, one reason I don't like this method is because multi-line comments actually aren't supported, which you can see by the difference in the syntax highlighting. You can see here that the comments that use the hash symbol are gray, but the multi-line comment with the triple double quotes is yellow. This is actually a hacky way of doing a comment where the interpreter reads and sees the comment as a string, but then ignores the code because the string is not assigned to anything. A real comment using the hash symbol is never read by the interpreter in the game engine and is completely ignored. There's more to why I don't like the three double quote method, but I won't go into it. For now, feel free to use it if you want, because it does still work. So we know that we can use the hash symbol to effectively ignore any text or code that follows it. That means that we can leverage this to comment out code that we don't want or need. This is a common practice when you are testing things in your game. For instance, you may suspect that a certain line of code is breaking something. If that's the case, you can go ahead and comment it out instead of deleting it and then trying to type it back in later. Or maybe you just don't want to use a certain bit of code for the time being, but want the option to easily enable it later. Let's go ahead and try it out. If we run the game right now, we can see that um text in the, in the uh, text box there. Let's say that I don't want to see that until I've replaced the text with something better, a little more clever. If that's the case, I can simply comment out that line of code that's writing the text to the screen. Now I can run the game again, and we don't see that text anymore. To summarize, comments let us add notes to our code for easy reference, and they let us enable and disable lines of code when we're debugging our game or just choosing which pieces of code we want to implement. If you liked today's video, don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out on what's coming up next. The sprites, source code, and everything else that I've used in this tutorial today is available for download on my Patreon page. So if you want to check that out and also support the channel, the link is in the description. Thanks to everyone for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.